Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these royal earrings. And here I'm using the beads from the Forest Collection that my friends from Beading School by Erika Sandor sent me to test. It's really beautiful and I have an unboxing video that you could see here at the eye icon and you could also see the other two tutorials that I did using the Forest Collection. And what I wanted to tell you about this collection is that now it's discounted. It is from 75 to 50 two euros and if you buy the beads separately it will be much more so this is the time to act and if you want to buy some undiscounted items they sent me this beautiful Delica 11 O's and these golden beads and other different stuff like these earring findings that you could find on their website you could use Bijuteo 10% discount code which is down there in description and this is for all new orders, first orders only, until the end of September and uh, it is for non-discounted items so you could use it as well. But everything, all the links, all the materials you need are down there in description so you could check them out. Okay, I'm showing slowly, easy, step by step as always, so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials for inspiration and I also have a short clip of this video down there in description where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips where you might also want to subscribe for new inspiration. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there I have a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. So now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are the beads from the Forest Collection that my friends from Beading School by Erika Sandor were so kind to send me to test. Okay, it consists of 8mm Rivoli bead and these are really beautiful beads. I will show you a closer look. If you want to see the unboxing video, just I'm reminding you that it's here at the eye icon. And uh, what else I want to show you are these beautiful bicones and round emerald beads, emerald color beads. I'm guilty of showing more emerald tutorials. Uh, these are matte 4 millimeters, 3 millimeters, and round fasted crystals, again 4 millimeters. Extremely beautiful and high quality beads. I recommend them. I have links down there in description, as I told you to all of those beads, to the forest collection and to some seed beads that I'm using Delica in this beautiful green color and this is golden color and from the forest collection I'm also using these 8 by 15 millimeters teardrop crystals and I forgot to tell you that here I'm using 8 from each emerald type and um, of course, for a pair of earrings, I need ear wires. I'm not sure that they have them right now at their website, but they have a variety of different type of ear wires. And uh, you could see these in dark color down there in description. And here I'm using for this project monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. Or you could use fire line or other beading thread. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them just to go through the difficult beads. Now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and this time I will be showing you an easier way of bezeling. Not like this one, it was 
more difficult but I'm sure with the step-by-step -step instructions I'm showing you will be able to do this one as well and I'll link to all of my videos that I did out of the forest collection here at the eye icon as well as the unboxing one okay and now I will start showing you the other way of bezeling okay I will start with four of these beautiful green beads and I'm going to slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot just like this and then I will make one more knot and I will pull okay this will be the center of my work okay then I go through the following seed bit after my knot okay and now I have this beautiful cross of four beads you see then in my next step guys what I want to take are five of these beautiful golden beads okay five of them then I'm going to take one three millimeter crystal and I'm going to take five more golden beads okay this is what I have on my needle and I will go back in circle through those beads just like that okay now I have this then what I do is that I'm going through the following seed bead and I'm going to repeat this step again I take five seed beads okay five then I take five more and I go back like this then I'm going through the following green and I'm going to repeat this two more times okay and you see this beautiful element by the way if you like this element you could use it alone in different project it's really beautiful but now it will be the basis of my rivoli bezeling okay i will put this rivoli here in the center and i will close this work around it okay now i'm exiting out of this green bead and what I want to do is go here through all of those five beads just like this and what I'm doing next is that I'm going through this crystal just like this okay now guys I want to flip my work because I prefer to go in this direction I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to do this this way okay and now guys I'm going to take three green beads okay just like this and I'm going through this crystal okay and when I pull I have this then I take three more green and I go here Okay, three more. Okay, and three. Okay, and before I pull and tighten up this one, 
I should put the Rivoli in the center. But before I do this, I wanted to pay attention to something. Okay, you see how this Rivoli and this Rivoli differ a little bit. You see, this one is more like a shallow and this one is like more like a pointy one here at the back. And uh, this is the pinkish, brown pinkish uh, quartz Rivoli. And this is the more shallow one. Okay, so if you decide to bezel this one, you will need to add more beads here. Here, you see where uh, the yellow frame is. Uh, you should add five or six, I'm not sure if you decide to bezel this one, okay. And uh, you should pay attention. Every manufacturer that I uh, used until now always has these small differences. And if you pay attention to them, uh, you will add less or more beads at different steps. But um, as a whole, the pattern is the same, okay. Just wanted to pay attention to this one. Now, what I wanted to do is go around and make it tighten up around the Rivoli. And in this way, it will stay in its bed and it won't go out, okay? I'll do this off camera. I'll go around several times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I went around several more times and the goal here is that Rivoli lies in its bed and doesn't move around, okay? Now I have this, you see how the back looks really nice and you could also use the back for, uh, if you like it better for uh, front of your work. Okay, so now this is what I have and in my next step guys, what I want to take is one of this beautiful golden bead, one four millimeter matte emerald crystal bicon. And as I'm exiting from this bicon, I'm going in my following bicon. Okay, I have this. And then I take a seed bead, a bicon, and a seed bead. Okay. And I go here in this three millimeter bicon. And a seed bead, a bicon, and a seed bead. And I go here. A seed bead, a bicon, and a seed bead. And this is where I go. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going here through the bicon. And I'm taking five green beads. Okay, five. And I will go back through this crystal, just like this. Okay. Then I go through this yellow one. And I'm going to take at this step four yellow beads or golden beads. Okay, four of them. If I was using here also green beads, I would take three of them because they are longer, as you may see. Okay. Then I go through the bicon and take five green beads. Okay, five. Go back and go through the yellow, through the golden. Okay. 
go here. Okay, guys, and continue these two more times. You see five, four, five, four, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am almost at the end of my work where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And now I will go at my next step. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going through four of those six beads that I added in my previous row. Oh, I mean, I added four, but there are six in total here, and I'm counting one, two, three, four, and exiting here. And now I'm going to take two seed beads, one of these beautiful round faceted crystals in emerald color, and then again two seed beads, and I'm going back in circle through two beads in this direction, okay? Okay, because I want to put this one in the center, okay? Now I have this and I will go on here in this direction and I will continue this. So I'm going through the crystal and through as many beads as I can in this direction. And my goal is to exit through four beads here. One, two, three, four. So I need to go through two more beads in this direction. Okay. Now what I take is two seed beads, one faceted crystal and two more seed beads. And I'm going here back in circle through these two beads forming a loop okay then what i want to do is go in this direction then go through four beads add a crystal here add a crystal here and i'll meet you in a while Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two, my last crystal from this row. Okay, now I have this. And what I wanna do next is go here in this direction through these two seed beads. Okay, and pull. And as I'm exiting here from this seed bead, I'm going to take eight seed beads. And I have my eight here. And I have my eight here. And I will go here through these two seed beads to the center of my work okay then what i do is that i go in this direction okay like this now guys my goal is to go through all of those beads here in this direction and to reach my next crystal And here, guys, I'm going to add eight more beads. Okay, I have my eight. And I'm going here through these beads, okay? Now I will go here in this direction at eight, go here at eight. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last eight beads. 
and here if you want you could use your pliers I think I could handle this without pliers okay and now what I want to do is to show you how to attach this teardrop crystal here okay and if you remember I added eight beads after these two here one two three four five I want to go through five from here one two three four five five beads okay now I'm taking one of these crystals and I will take one green and one golden bead okay this is what I have and I'm going through this teardrop pear like crystal pear like crystal okay then I take three yellow seed beads I slide those down okay then I will skip them like this and I will go through the crystal and through this yellow bead okay just like this and I'm pulling now guys I have this and in my next step I'm taking just one green bead and I'm going through two beads here because I added even number of beads I find the center by going through two beads not through one if you understand me okay then if you want you could go one more time reinforcing in this direction but I want this bead to dangle that is why I'm not going through it if you want it to dangle more add more yellow beads here after the greens okay now guys my goal is to reach the other part of my work okay I want to go through all of those beads here and reach here the other part where I will attach my ear wire and then I'll be back okay guys and I went through all of my beads in this direction and now I'm exiting here at the top and how do you know where I'm exiting you count seven beads from these bases here one two three four five six seven in this way I'm finding the center of my work where I want to attach my ear wire and I will take one seed bead my ear wire then one more seed bead okay this is what I have now on my needle and I will go back in circle and now you see what I have I have this ear wire here in the center I'm going through two beads as you may see because uh, I have even number of beads here and I find the center as I told you by going through two beads with the uneven number I have a central bead now I don't okay and I'm going to reinforce this several more times and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to make a knot okay guys and I reinforce this several more times and now I'm here where I want to make a knot and cut my thread okay in order to do this I'm exiting here and what I want to do is make here a loop go two times through this loop pull then go through the following seed bead and cut your thread okay and now my earring is ready 
Okay guys, so now my royal Rivoli earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorial for constant inspiration. Down there in the description you will find 10% discount code for the website of my friends from Bidding School by Erika Sandor and there you will find also the discounted uh, forest collection and this code is only for first orders until the end of September and this is for items that are not on sale. So you could check them out. And if you order all these items separately, not discounted uh, and not like in a collection, they will be much more expensive. So you could check them out and give them a try. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Stay with me for more, more videos. Love you. Bye.